Welcome back. It's 651 time for your morning news. Now a Wisconsin man accused of killing his pregnant ex girlfriend two years ago was arrested on Thanksgiving in Missouri. An arrest warrant was issued in December 2021 for Jose Dominguez Garcia for the 2020 murder of the pregnant woman. According to the complaint, the couple broke up in July 2020 after she told Dominguez Garcia she was seeing someone else, the father of her unborn baby. She went missing just over two weeks after that. Dominguez Garcia faces charges including first degree intentional homicide, first degree intentional homicide of an unborn child, and hiding a corpse. La Crosse's Common Council is staying in a class action lawsuit against PFAS manufacturers. The council went into a closed session for two hours to discuss a settlement offer by 3M and DuPont, two of the largest producers of the forever chemicals. The council voted 11 to nothing to opt out of the settlement offer, so the city will remain on board with the class action lawsuit filed two years ago. 3M and DuPont are the ones that have offered settlements, but there's a, a bunch of other companies that are also uh, being sued. This conversation again will continue. The council is also using $45,000 from the city's contingency fund to hire outside attorneys. Those attorneys will represent the city against some town of Campbell residents who recently filed civil lawsuits over PFAS contamination from the city owned airport. La Crosse School District residents, meanwhile, voicing their concerns regarding the potential closure of Northwoods and Hingen Elementary Schools. During the virtual hearing, the first speaker asked the school board not to close Hingen, highlighting the school's dedicated principal and staff, as well as an attendance rate higher than the state average. She challenged the explanation that closing Hingen would improve socioeconomic balance across the district. As an example of pretending to support a vulnerable population while actually causing disruption to that population so as to avoid inconveniencing the families of higher socioeconomic status. The second speaker criticized the idea of closing Northwoods. She says she worked for the district for five years and is a registered facility manager with the Department of Public Instruction. She says Emerson should close. Northwoods offers the longest future lifespan. Other buildings should be replaced in one to 20 years. Emerson is one of those buildings, possibly the building that should be closed in one year. I find it hard to imagine that we would close Northwoods, the second newest building on our district with the largest green space, to rebuild at Emerson, the district's smallest, second smallest site. An in-person public hearing is set for 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday at Hogan. A reminder, by the way, the school board does not have to follow the facility advisory committee's recommendation. Well, as the holidays get closer, it is time to send in your letters to Santa. And elves at the City of La Crosse Parks, Rec and Forestry Department are here to make sure your letter gets to St. Nick. Every year, elves come all the way from the North Pole to La Crosse to collect those letters. They should be sent to the address you see on your screen. And this year, all letters postmarked by December 10th will be answered by the man in the red suit himself. Just make sure to include your name and address so his elves know where to send his response. Happening today, UWL will host a senior speed dating event from 1 to 2.15 this afternoon. It'll take place in room 3110 of the Student Union. Organizers say the event will allow for older adults to make new friends or even find a like-minded soulmate. Participants can register for the event by contacting Alicia Town, through the email or phone number you see on your screen. Participants are asked to arrive between 12.30 and 1 to check in. And as you head out the door this morning, our temperatures just downright cold yet again. We got the teens here to work with for our temperatures under mostly clear skies. But as you can see in the day planner, we are going to be looking at increasing cloud cover. Skies will turn cloudy as the day goes on today with afternoon highs uh, mainly in the 20s. Eight day forecast here showing that we will be looking at uh, clear conditions for tomorrow. Also much warmer as highs will be into the 40s and again on Thursday, but with some cloudier skies there though. Friday we clear out again highs still into the low 40s, but then we're dropping our highs into the 30s this weekend and also into early next week as we got another cold front coming in to help cool us down. 
yet again. Oh, <laughs> some good news there, Derek. Well, we do have some good news, though. If you thought you have a lot of holiday decorations to put up this year, just wait until you see the White House. This year's theme is Inner Child, and it includes almost 15,000 feet of ribbon. Look how beautiful wow, that is. that's crazy. Over 34,000 ornaments for 98 different holiday trees placed around the executive mansion, and over 142,000 holiday lights cover all of those trees. Look how big that tree is. Gorgeous. Wow. And for dessert, the White House has a gingerbread creation made of 30 pounds of chocolate <laughs> and 50 pounds of icing. How do you do that? I mean, you've got to be such a creative person to, you know, sculpt all that. Oh, like, yeah. That's I insane. know. I'm sure they have, you know, just the spotless resumes. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's hard of... to beat, too. So good yeah. luck to all of you out there trying to compete with that. <laughs> yeah, if you are, hopefully that gives you some inspiration. <laughs> yeah. It is really beautiful. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for watching News 8 Now this morning. We will see you back here at noon. Have a great day.